Go the Distance Bicycle Club does the 28 mile short version of the 52 mile Salem Gravel Grinder, otherwise known as Perry Roubaix. The first 12 miles of this route follows the official Perry Roubaix route. We begin with two and a half miles of very rideable gravel starting on Colvale Road in the Basket Slough National Wildlife Refuge. Colvale Road is pretty flat, but there is a moderate 0.8 mile 100 foot climb up to the right turn at Smithfield Road. Once on Smithfield Road, you head north, bearing left on Dyke Road, which eventually bends west. On Dyke Road, you descend to a low spot. It was flooded, but very rideable today. And upon reaching Amity Dallas Road, you'll head north through about four and a half mile stretch of asphalt. That includes a moderate two mile rolling 200 foot climb. If you need a little assistance, the occasional farm dog is there to help. After the climb, you're rewarded with a great descent and some tremendous views of the Willamette Valley to the north. At mile seven, watch for the left turn onto Beck Road. It's easy to miss and you definitely do not want to miss it. Beck Road is one of the most beautiful portions of this very scenic route. Beck Road includes a mild 1.2 mile, 115 foot climb, topping out at Mare Goat Farm. The climb is immediately followed by a moderate descent. At about mile 11, we turn right and head north on Enterprise Road for a one mile stint to Perrydale Road. At Perrydale Road, we turn right and head east leaving the official Perry roubaix route. After about three and a half miles of gravel, you reach the pavement again. And after that, there's a four mile stretch of asphalt with traffic through the town of Perrydale to the next gravel section at Oak Grove Road. Take time, do what you're gonna do. Be extremely careful crossing 99W. Just after mile 18, with about 10 miles left to go, you'll turn right onto Oak Grove Road for more gravel. Oak Grove Road is the most challenging section of gravel. There's some pretty dense gravel section, and also there are three climbs on Oak Grove, including the toughest. It's about a one mile, 230 foot climb with sections of 8% grade. The final third of Oak Grove Road is asphalt, including the last climb which ends at Oak Grove School. From the church, there's a great view looking north from the top of the climb. At mile 24, you turn right and descend on Farmer Road with starch and asphalt, but soon turns to gravel. It's been ignoring me. There is another low spot on Farmer Road with some deep gravel that was slow going, but it wasn't flooded all the way across. At about mile 26, you reach Highway 99W and you'll turn left and head south for about a mile. After your short excursion on 99W, you'll turn right and head west for the home stretch of gravel on Coville Road. This last two mile stretch of Colville Road has a couple of rollers. Nothing very challenging, just enough to make the ride interesting. In memory of all those I have loved. You know you've had a great ride when you're greeted at the end with a beautiful double rainbow. Thanks for watching.